There we go. This is another project that I've been working on recently. Um, so this is a game that I developed in Swim Game um, using Pascal. Swim Game is just a 2D library that Swinburne um, Swinburne uses. So basically, you just got a guide. You can walk around that sort of thing, and you can also attack enemies. Yeah. There's also sound effects that actually play out as well. A few bugs in the program, like these enemies can actually walk through walls. So I haven't actually implemented detection for that sort of thing, where I can't walk through those walls. And you can also run. Uh, also ignore the white boxes; they're just for debugging purposes. Okay. So there's also a quest system. So I've just started talking to this person. Um, as you can see, I'm actually underneath her for some reason. This has been a little bit of a bug which I have to fix. Anyway, so you just talk to her for a little bit. You can read it if you want. It's a single uh, branching quest system. So I mean, so there isn't any multiple branches. You can go back and talk to her and she just says garbage. If you press M, you can check your current quest. So it says, bring this note to you by the wizard to the swordmaster in the barracks. So I haven't actually made the barracks yet, so this is actually just the swordmaster here. I will put him in the barracks though. How may I help you, young lad? I have a note for you. So he just tells you what to do, gives you a quest, and let's see. Kill three of the monsters in the woods and return to the swordmaster in the barracks. So I gotta kill three of these guys. There's actually two there, they're just ow, underneath ow, each other. Ow, ow, ow. If you can see in the top left corner as well, there's a um there's a red bar. This is just like a charging bar, so what happens is when you attack, you gotta wait till it goes green ow. before it gets full attack, otherwise ow. it's halved. Or something like that. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I think it goes up from ow. zero to fifty. And when it hits green, I think it goes to 100%. Uh. So just add a little bit more strategy to actually attacking. And you can also see the health bars above the players. I'm not sure why they disappear at the moment when they die. I have to fix that up too. They should just turn into an animation, but. Uh. 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 You can also hear the sound effects that I've added. They're pretty lame, I just made them. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the sword sound effects actually get off the internet from. Um, some free free royalty sort of sites. Okay, so now I've completed that quest, I can go down this guy. He just says wonderful. So that's all I've actually gotten with the quest so far. I'll just show you a little bit more of the map. Yep, that's pretty much there is. Um you can see this white box here, this actually brings you to another area. There we go. So this other area is I only used it as a uh, demonstration of basically you can go between areas and when you do come back the enemies at the moment do respawn whether or not I'm going to change that or not I'm not really too sure um, obviously in the future they won't actually be in the town so it's not really going to matter too much you don't want to be running around and yeah that's all there really is to it so far um, as you can see as well there's a health bar here the text is pretty small we have SPS here. Um, it does say something underneath that. I think it just says attack bar. And obviously you've got your... Yeah, that's the current quest, run mindlessly. So there you go. I haven't actually added anything yet. I will be working on this throughout the summer, hopefully, if I get some time. I'm just looking for a job at the moment, though. I'll show you a bit of the code now. Damn me. So it's written in Pascal, using Swing Game Library. So there you go, Swing Game. This uses various files that I've created. Uh, this is the main procedure. This is just setup stuff. Ignore all that. This is the main game loop. So this just goes through and runs this every uh, frame. Not every frame, but every time it runs through. There you go. So if you've moved room, it obviously checks that first. Um, it draws the game then. If you are talking to somebody, it won't allow you to move, you'll have to keep talking to them and it obviously display the text on screen. If you're not talking to somebody um, and you have completed a quest since the last uh, game loop, then it'll say 
uh, quest complete and it'll update your quest. Otherwise, it'll just let you run things normally. Um, it'll check your actions. Check action goes into a the file. I'll show you here. Um, it's a big long file. I'm gonna separate this all out because it's just awfully cluttered. But anyway, um, check action just goes through, checks uh, procedurally whether or not the player is stunned. If he's stunned, he can't do anything. Um, I'm not sure if you saw, it, saw in the video, but he can't move if he is stunned. Um, there is a percentage chance, I'd have to check it, but it's a chance of which the player gets stunned when the enemy attacks him. Um, if you're attacking, obviously the cooldown, which was the attack bar. Um, if you haven't attacked, it'll increase by one. If you're blocking or attacking, it'll stop the player and it'll do that. The block isn't actually implemented right now, so it just says you're blocking. I still have to work on that. Uh, if you do attack, it'll check how many enemies are in your area, and if you're actually close enough to them, it'll take off their um, their health. So there's just calculations in there. Um, if you're not attacking anyone in, and there's no and there's nobody in your vicinity, it'll check whether or not there's a shop nearby. Shops aren't actually implemented yet. A lot of the code is there, I just haven't done it yet. Um, it'll do the checking whether or not you're talking to a quest person. So if they are a quest person, then um, it'll advance through. Um, it'll it'll show that text. If you're walking through a pathway, it'll say that you are transporting, and it'll get where you're actually going to. Um, otherwise, if none of that is applicable, it'll just let you move around. So yeah, that's all there really is to it. Um, once again, just give you another view. So yeah, this is done in Pascal. Um, everything everything's done in Pascal. It um it was done in uh, it's also used in Swing Game Library, which is a library that is maintained by Swinburne University. So there you go. Well done.